Hello everyone and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 1.8. I have decided that I am going to attempt to play Stock Career with no mods. I do have the two DLCs, uh, Making History and Breaking Ground, but I have no mods and I am going to attempt to play Stock Career Mode. I am doing this during a live stream, I'll probably post it to YouTube, and I've titled live stream Total Noob Starts a New Stock 1.8 Career, which is reasonably accurate, I think. So yeah, <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing. Anyway, starting the game, uh, I've got my normal settings on, so I normally have the music turned off. I probably should have, just for this occasion, uh, turned on the music. That would have been probably a little bit more atmospheric. But anyway, here we are. And I'm going to start a new career mode. And my settings... Well, let me just make sure this stuff is on hard. Let's, okay, so allow other launch sites is not a hard thing. Well, I mean, the other launch sites are harder to launch from. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like... Maybe I should just go straight up hard so that it's simple. But then... Heart pressure limits and this stuff, you know, plasma, oh wait, does plasma blackout, let me see, hard? Yeah, it makes it custom anyway, so alright, uh, if I wanted to do straight up hard, I can't do that. Okay, indestructible facilities, allow our launch sites, mm, enable comms, and uh, Kerbals, yeah, yeah, Kerbals level up immediately. They got their experience, there's no reason to belabor the point. And uh, Plasma Blackout, yeah. Okay, we'll go with this. Always allow action groups, is tempting. Oh, thank you for resubscribing, Bluegill. Yes, it's uh, 9 a.m. on a Friday, I have the day off. So, again, I am doing this during live stream. This will probably be posted to YouTube. I should probably add chat on the screen just so that people know what people are saying. Let me do that. Flag. Bloody NASA. <laughs> Here we are in the VAB and I've got a capsule with much trepidation because I'm so used to launching uncrewed missions earlier in the game these days. Here's a parachute and uh, here's a flea. That's all we need, right? And of course, we have to make sure that staging is right. Um, taking a look at our thrust weight ratio of 6.81. I think we can limit the thrust. Oh, why? Okay, th there it goes. I was waiting for it to change. Mm, probably optimal is around 2-ish. Interesting, the burn time doesn't change. It reads the different thrust to weight ratio. And, but it hasn't changed the burn time. The burn time actually extends because I've done the thrust limiting, but it doesn't do that. Glitch! <laughs> oh, I forgot to transition so that people on YouTube will be able to watch the... the... whatchamacallit chat. So, in-stream chat will be visible to the YouTubers. That's a warning to all of you. Be on your best behavior. Alright, uh... Well, I guess we'll, we'll launch with Valentina first, darn it. Take the SRB off and put it back on again. Oh, then it'll reset the burn time? Maybe. Okay. Um, have I done anything wrong yet? <laughs> Let me just... Uh, Alright, we'll get this... Uh, well, what the heck? It's uh, They've got inventory now. Jeez. Uh, crew report, though. E oh, there was EVA report? I was just blind. It's early in the morning. Yeah, okay. I was blind. Keep board. Hello, Mr. Doobie. Okay, so here we go. I should have dumped the monopropellant. Space bar. Oh god, if I wanted to get another crew report, I would have to have her EVA take the other one out and put it on. I'll have to fix that finally. Uh, well, I guess I'll just have to do the ground one a different time. Forgot to do that crew report switcheroo. Collect all the science? Okay. 
All right. So crew report. Oh, no, it says overwrite. Um. Yeah, it wants me to overwrite the crew report. Well, see, uh, we would have to go out and come back in again to keep. God, it's going real fast. That makes me super nervous. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that makes sense. The planet rotate just a little bit. No, I mean, <laughs> that's not how that works. New moon textures. Don't know about carbon textures. Well, it's not like I played 1.7 very much either. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, EVA. Take data. Experiments. Why they couldn't have just made this possible without all the extra shenanigans? I have no idea. All right. Yeah, I got the science, as far as I know. Or, uh, is the EVA report different? Yeah, it is. Okay. Cover vessel. Valentina lived! Yay! Okay. Let's, let's get the sciences. Hmm... Basic rocketry, check. Engineering 101, check. Alrighty. Okay, maybe I should put some, I, since I'm not listening to the EVA going on right now, I will watch the replay of the EVA later, but my OBS didn't want to pick up the video of it, so that's the only reason I'm not watching that while doing this. I don't know why, OBS used to see Firefox Windows perfectly alright before, but anyway... So let's have some background music. We'll we'll do the goo this time. Um, let's see. We have a decoupler. We don't have a decoupler. Okay. Uh, we really need. Oh no, we. Do, uh, yeah, I forgot. It's a different section now. I'm still in the old times. No heat shield. Okay. No clouds. Well, that's their fault. So we're going to try and get to space, but not orbit, since we don't have a heat shield. Gosh darn it, uh, we're getting close to levels where I could get to orbit just with this. <laughs> Is that the vacuum ISP, or the... That's a zero kilometer ISP. Jeez. I always go with the vacuum ISP. We should just go with the vacuum. Uh, what what they need to do is have a toggle where I can have the ISP being the vacuum one and the thrust to weight ratio being sea level. But uh, whatever. Might want fins, yeah. Don't give me hints. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to see whether I remember things. Stop it. Um, yeah, probably this is too... I mean, we could get to orbit. Um, we have a 30 part limit. Hmm. Maybe we should try to orbit and just retro. But I don't want to kill Kerbals yet. This is a tough call. Alright, we'll, we'll just go to space. I haven't picked up any contracts. Is your uncle a space fan? Or an engineering fan. Escape the atmosphere. Check. Um, don't care about observational surveys. All the flea. You know, that could weigh us down a bit. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm sure we can do that. Test splashdown we can't do. Um, that we should be able to do. Yeah, we can't take more than two. All right. I'm not, I'm not doing any of the strategies, by the way, so don't even bother asking. So what we're going to do is we'll put the flea here. We should be able to recover the flea as well. At the worst case scenario, it would be ablative, and I'll uh, cut down on costs. 
Mm, we're gonna be shutting this one down early. We only need to get it to 27 kilometers and past the speed of sound. Uh, we probably don't need this many fuel tanks, but yeah, let's cut uh, let's cut cost. I mean, we're a cheap space program, darn it. Oh, we can change the color. No. No. Oh. Get it. How about these? Um like that better. We need to not have too much extra oomph. How's it going? We haven't killed anybody yet. Ah, I didn't dump the mob. I keep forgetting to dump the mob repellent. But it's Jeb, so we have a high probability of killing Jeb now. Alright, here we go. Now, so we need to get between 27 and 33 kilometers. And we need to be going reasonably fast at that point. We'll just shut off the stage at that point, too. Let's aim for a splashdown so we get water science. There's Moon. Very much looking like the Death Star, I have to say. We don't actually have to use the flea, but we, if we're going to haul it to that altitude, we might as well use it. Oh, we're going too fast. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Hmm, this may be a little bit more complicated than I thought. We have to go up slowly. I, sh I was supposed to bring up the goo container. See, I never think of that. Um... Do a propulsive line. I've got an SRB on the top. If we get to space like this, maybe we'll sort of do a propulsive landing? Not quite. We could probably get to... Uh, what's our apogee? Ap apo whatever. Uh, no, I, did, I don't have to test the SRB. It's just haul. We're going to use it to cushion our landing. <laughs> Uh, let's let's separate these out. Okay, so that should bring us to a standstill, basically. Mod updates. Yeah, I always wait a very long time for mod updates so they can figure themselves out. I didn't even do science in, uh, in space. I'm so negligent. Oh, we can't EVA right now. Ah! EVA report. Board. Still carry the stupid mob propellant. Okay, I have 20 science. Let's get that then. We can go to orbit then. Test the soil splashdown? No. Parachute in flight over Kerbin? Yeah, probably. We have to make sure it's between that stuff though. Probably it's okay. Tourists. Um, let me let me just see the settings. Texture quality, full res. Res. Because they had changed that stuff now. Cool. Reflection texture resolution. Heck, bump that up a little bit. Every frame. Reflection refresh. Yeah, sure, why not? We're in stock for heaven's sakes. I... I don't... I don't really like playing the game to, like, take advantage of the game mechanics, and ultimately the challenges boil down to... taking advantage of ways that... ASP doesn't... apply physics properly. Um... Like having Kerbals and Command Seats, we've got too many parts. 
tool assist yeah 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 so yeah you, you're you're used to uh, taking advantage but no i i from the beginning the elegant design bureau has been about playing it straight basically in other words things should be in fairings um you know it should look like a stupid rocket instead of an office block i, I want to paint the inner stage different you like I, having a booster wouldn't be a bad idea but it's also not strictly necessary. Oh, but our thrust weight ratio is pretty bad. We need... We would have to dump some of these fuel tanks to get one on, but I guess. This is the normal thing. Oh, and I don't do the burn through, you know, I mean, you, you've seen it before, how they use the next SRB to burn through the previous one to get it off, you know, that trick. I know the trick. I just choose not to do such things. Alright, and that's uh, 1.3. That's vacuum, though. It's not like that booster does much of a boost, but... I don't know if it's even worth it. How much does it cost? Like, extra 10% of our cost? Oh well. Alright. Nobody's suggested any sort of naming convention. Well, okay, you guys met- We'll call this Bradley 1 in order of, uh, Mr. Uh, Wistons. That's the only name I've got in the chat right now. All right, here we go. I mean, we could call it, well, we could call it ambient light adjustment one, but that wouldn't work quite, quite right. Bob one would have been good. Oh, uh, Jeb already had his turn. Oh well. Buster one, Lathe one, Buster. We'll use Buster next. Lathe is not happening. <laughs> Oh god, we're running out of electric charge. Oh, I didn't put the heat shield on. Oh, shoot. Talking away. I don't even know if we, strictly speaking, need a heat shield. Well, this time we can get Val in. Jeb dodged a bullet right there. Or at least a very practical test. We need to dump a part to make the heat shield work. Probably we don't need full blader. Do I really need fins? <laughs> I think I do. Okay. I, I want a Valin! Gosh darn it. Well, whatever. This is what happens. This is what happened to NASA, too. Anyway, launch. I, I don't like my first launch being crude either. There are a lot of things I don't like about stock KSP. <laughs> There's no clouds, you know. We could make a long list. Where's where's all my orbital parameters that they finally decide to show us on this screen? Let's make sure that whatever they do for the craft flex, it takes the least amount of resources possible. That's all I want. Um, we're not in space yet, but we haven't done high altitude crew report. We, well, we can't do EVAs. We'll have to overwrite that one. Oh, no, I don't think margins. I mean, margins are n normal for this kind of rocket. Hello, Arthur. Had you at nude, <laughs> noob. The, the skybox is better. They definitely improved the skybox. I... I don't know if it's the real... skybox. Because I'm crap at... recognizing anything but Orion. Okay, we've uh, definitely gotten to orbit. That's fine. And we can't EVA yet. Do that upgrade. So there's really no point. We've already got the space science. 
So we will deorbit in a place that I hope will bring Jeb close to the KSC. Which one is retrograde again, Bluegill? What, what's retrograde? Explain retrograde to me. Ah, the ambient light could be turned up here. The triangle. You're an evil man. Alright. Mm. Oh, I'm a little bit worried about the mountains now. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Blater is already ablating. We gotta end up in the desert. Desert is better than water. We haven't actually gotten desert signs yet. Now, what was the altitude for the... No parachute before 10 kilometers. Okay, that's nominal. Alright. Testing. Oh, did we? No, uh, whatever. Hmm. I sense glitchiness. How, how is it that no earlier version of uh, of Kerbal Space Program had an earthquake, and suddenly this does? What is what's going on here? One point eight, and we have these sorts of things going. Yeah, I've never seen this in the game ever. The ground's been perfectly steady. Suddenly we're in California. <laughs> I mean, oh, God's sakes. Probably has to do with their fancier new textures or something. Watch. It can never be perfect. It just can never... <laughs> okay, um... I really want science. Or flight control. And I don't have enough for either. I mean, the, this could cut down on parts, so that would be good for bringing up the goo. I think, yeah, I think we should bring up the goo. Hmm. Alright. 